Hello, welcome back. Or if you are new around here, welcome and I hope you stick around. Uh, I'm Rob and I just, well, yeah, come out camping and mainly hammock camping and all sorts of stuff and just, it's a getaway, you know, from the nine to five. Um, yeah, so if I'm a bit sweaty, I apologize. I'm on my bike tonight. And I think I found where I want to be. Off the beaten path, which is the main sort of path down there. So I'm away from that. Um, yeah. If you know by now, I'm in the hammock. So I think these two trees here are perfect for it. I am actually in a different hammock tonight. I'm actually in. That's my hand. For size reference, normal 330ml bottle of beer, and that's the hammock. Although it is still only early, I'm going to just put the hammock up. I think I'm far enough away from anyone. Um, I'm going to put the hammock up, somewhere to sit, somewhere to do my dinner. But yeah, never actually slept in this one before, so another knapsack hammock. This is, uh, I think it's some pocket, pocket light or something like that. But anyway, let's get it up and we'll have a look. Ooh. A little bit of damage there. Yeah. I hope it holds me. So this one's really simple, daisy chains, and there's enough of them. I'm going to start there, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 14, 15 on each side. So it's obviously, it's, you know, plenty of space. Single skin. However, I can tell that's going to hit the floor. Before I do this hit test, I can tell it's going to hit the floor. So let's just adjust. The all important sit test. Sound. So Yep, even though it's small, it is pretty big. Downsides, it doesn't have a ridge line or anything. Um, I've not bought a tarp or anything either. Uh, I've brought the brog net. It's not, it's not due to rain. Um, and yes, I have bought the summer sleeping bag again. I'm determined not to get the winter one back out this year. Well, you know, this side of summer anyway. I can hear you all shouting through your screens and your tellies. What's for dinner, Rob? What's for dinner? Well, it's Friday night, so we've got beer and kebabs. Chicken tikka kebabs. I'm looking forward to them. I'm going to have a beer first, a bit of a chill, let the sun go down a little bit, and then, uh, then I'll crack on. Cheers. Every time. I'm always going to be honest, but every time something goes wrong, I, I either forget something, I'm too cold, um, I just said before that I've never slept in this hammock, which I haven't. I've never slept overnight in it. I've, you know, lain in the garden and stuff, which is brilliant. But I've just been laying here now, having a beer, and I'm getting all the bugs landed on me, you know, the midges and the, everything else. So I thought I'd get the bug net out ready. I've got it with me. It doesn't fit this hammock. It's far too short for the length of this hammock. So, you may be thinking, what do I mean? 
Oh, there you go, look, there's a bloody insect on it already, look. So, this hammock, or this net, should I say, goes like this. So it cinches there, runs along, and then cinches here. But I want it to cinch there, not there. And if I pull it, there you say, pull it, Rob. Pull it, Rob. Well, it won't come because it's now come on top. Oh, it's from that side. So I've got no tarp and, uh, oh, sugar. I just realized a bug net would have been on my face anyway. Sugar, 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 sugar. I've got no rope, I've got no string, I've got nothing. I've got I've got no way of putting that bug net up. Apart from how it is now and just getting in it, which it's the way I the way I get in this one, it's a bottom entry one. Oh, nearly. Get in the hammock, Rob. Oh, I can't get in the hammock because it's been restricted by the bug net. The reason I can't get in the hammock is because it's been restricted by the net. So I pull out like that. Jesus, yep. Absolutely no chance. I can't sleep like this, I can't even get in the hammock. <sighs> What am I going to do? What am I going to do? <sighs> so I've done the only sensible thing I could think of. Put my hoodie on. Put the bug net away. I'm joking. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't need the hoodie on, but it's not about getting bitten alive, is it? And that... Well, I brought that. I could have bought two more beers. I've only had room for two. So, a good thing with this is, with all these daisy chains, I'm just about to do my dinner, but I haven't got a chair. So I've just dropped this down from here and then the same on the other side, which brought the, uh, the hammock right down. Perfect. For cooking. Is this is what we're gonna call cooking mode. Ooh. I may be in cooking mode, but it's not very comfortable. I just wish you could smell this right now. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka, a um, couple of pita breads and some cheese. And we've got limited for space. Now, some of you may be saying you don't need a bug net. There's a massive spider. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Not for me that. So not only have I forgotten my um, bug net, I didn't bring a tarp on purpose, so I'm not classing that as I forgot a tarp. I didn't bring it on purpose because I didn't really, well, I'm not going to need, well, I didn't think I'd need, need one. But obviously without a bug net, that means anything up there is going to fall on me. Anyway, not only have I forgot that, I've also forgot my spork, so like, or any sort of cutlery to move the chicken. So I'm currently using my knife, which has been sat in the ground for the last half an hour just because I stick it in the ground, it's, you know what I mean, I don't want to stab myself. So, if, I, if, if this video, if you don't see any more videos from me or any more posts from me after this video, 
then you know I've died and someone's found the camera and uploaded the footage, so thanks for that. But if you don't see me, you know I've got food poisoning and yeah, and you know why. Um, hopefully we'll be back out with Matt in a couple of weeks time. Don't lie. Oh, look at the state of him. <laughs> Honestly, I'm slipping down. That's the natural way, I want to lie. You're like a slug. Here he is. Mr. Inconspicuous. What's your thoughts? Well, that bloke, weird. <laughs> I reckon he's left a bomb. Oh my God, here we go. He's either left a bomb or a mask going to wake up with a penis in his mouth. <laughs> Think of that. Not sure what you can see. What do we think of that then? Oh, God, it's boiling. What do we think of that then? A couple of beers, followed by a fried neck kebab. What more do you want? Cheers. <clears throat> so I wasn't actually going to bring you back at the moment, but but I had loads of cheese and loads of chicken left over, so I just piled all the cheese in the in the frying pan and just you know oh cooking cheese. Well, watch this. I mean that doesn't look good. Only downside is all this mess I've got to now clean up. But will it be worth it? You can't tell me that doesn't look good. Ah, it's bloody hot though. The cheese is like eating a volcano. The cheese is hot. Well yeah, very good. So the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will notice I actually moved the hammock. So I had originally set up on this one, on this one, uh, where am I? Yeah, this one, and this one. But I actually stepped it back a bit and gone to that one. Although it doesn't look it, it's actually quite a bit longer. And as you already can tell from the fact I forgot the, um, not forgot, um, what did I forget? I forgot something, didn't I? What did I forget? Just realised I put on my community tab that I forgot something. What did I forget? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't actually forget, did I? Did I forget? Oh my god! I'm forgetting what I forgot. If I forgot anything, maybe that's why I didn't forget. Um, yeah, the fact that the um, what do you call it? What do you call it? The fact that the bug net, that's it, the bloody bug net, Jesus Christ, doesn't fit this hammock. This hammock's slightly longer than my old one. Well, my old one, my other one. Because I know there are people out there who did notice. Let me know if you did in the comments. You know. Yes, I did, Rob. If you didn't, uh, let me know. No, I didn't, Rob. And if you're not subscribed, please do. Um, pushing that 500 goal. 500 subscribers by August is my goal. Um, we're getting there slowly, so be much appreciated if you uh, if you come along for the ride. It's free to subscribe, and uh, you get to see an idiot in the woods every week doing this. Yes, I am the idiot. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Right. I need a massive favour from you, every single one of you. So my mum was recently retired from uh, from work, uh, recently as in this year, um, and I'm trying to convince her to come out for a night camping. I'm trying to convince her to get out under the stars in the hammock. Um, she's a bit 50-50 on it, so do me a favour, uh, drop me a comment on this post to say, come on Kaz, get out camping, something like that, or come on Kaz, her name's Carol, goes by Kaz. Um, She's also on YouTube as well. Uh, no videos yet, but they're in the making. So if you would like to go and give uh, them a follow, my mum and dad, they're on Kaz and Cole on tour. I'll link them below. Uh, like I say, videos coming soon. Um, but yeah, they're motorhome, traveling in motorhome and stuff. That's what they do as such, you know what I mean? So yeah, their videos are coming soon. So please go and give their video a bit of a subscribe. And like I say, comment on this video you know just spam the comments with Kaz come on let's get her out and then we can make it happen bring her into the woods bring her up here um 
because she's never ever slept outside under the stars you know she's been in the tent a few times i think but she's never been in a hammock um so yeah me and cameraman stan are trying to convince her to come out so do me a favor we're back in sleep mode so i've lifted up the sides and we're gonna have a little bit of a pudding what we got yeah you ask what we got rob Lemon muffin. So my only saving grace about the bug net not being big enough is this sleeping bag. Has a headnet built in. So yeah, I may well be cold tonight. Well, well, I say that. Hopefully not. I've just cleaned my knife. I've just not sure how well you can see that or not. I say cleaned it. I've sterile, sterilized it. I've had it over the fire. So I'm hoping I can have a hot chocolate with it because I've got nothing else. I've got a spoon. I've got a spork. I've got nothing. Boy, I've got a bug net for my face. A built-in hammock. So what's the temperature due to do tonight? So apparently it is now 16 degrees. I can't lie, it's pretty chilly. So I don't believe it's 16, but it's due to drop down to now 16. But yeah, very slim chance of rain. So you may be thinking why am I bringing you along to show you making me a hot chocolate? Well, because I don't really know how it's going to go myself, to be honest. I'm just going to get involved. So my main concern is this cup. It's one of them squashy ones that folds flat, but it's made of rubber. So I don't really want to pierce a hole in it the knife whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger so they say well that's definitely going to be the motto for this video tell you now where that knife's been right, I'm going to turn this off put everything away have me hot chocolate and get to bed yeah I'm in there's the bug net as part of the sleeping bag I'm just going to put a podcast on put it on sleep mode for an hour or so, and then just drift off to sleep. Now night. Morning. So I slept all right. Let's get the bugs off me. Did I feel claustrophobic with this net on? A very, very tiny bit at the start, so I could see how people would. This wouldn't be for everyone. However, it actually keeps a lot of heat in, to be honest. As soon as I unzip it. <laughs> Okay, so this is what happens when you don't bring your bug net or a tarp. Thank goodness they had the uh, face net over the over the over the sleeping bag. If you've never lay in a hammock, I suggest you just give it a go because it's so comfortable. I'm set up because I'm drinking my coffee. Well, even then, it's just... I don't know, it feels... I, I can't explain it. Not weightless, but you know what I mean? It's just so comfortable. And if you haven't got one, I am going to give one away if I reach 500 subscribers by August. Uh, we're about 150 away. And about two months away. Two and a, yeah. So do me a favour. Um, just yeah please subscribe like the video leave me a comment um, cheers <laughs>